Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. I've got something interesting to show you today. So, uh, Deck gave me this at Christmas, yeah. And it kind of like solves a problem I didn't probably think I had, but really I did have. So, um, if you repair laptops and such like, you've probably got quite a lot of these. And you've also probably got one of the universal adapters that you plug these things into as well. And this will allow you to power up pretty much all laptops. But what Deck gave to me was this. So we have ends like you put onto your universal chargers, yeah? And we have a cable. One end plugs into these ends and the other end is USB-C. And that's it. <laughs> Where's your power supply, I thought. Well, obviously this will fit into a fast charger PD. So I said, hey, thanks, Dad. That's uh, handy. Don't have to have the big adapter thing, but the laptops run on 20 volts, 19 volts, yeah. And he said, oh, they've thought of that. So in here, there's a little PD decoy. So when you plug this into a fast charger, da -da, and these things are becoming almost ubiquitous now. I mean, considering that in the EU, the USB-C directive comes into force in 2024. So by the end of 2024, all electronic devices that are rechargeable, sold in the EU, must have a USB-C connector, nothing else, yeah. This is to stop e-waste with all these different sorts of power supplies. Of course, it won't for a long time because there's lots and lots of old legacy devices around, but I suppose gradually that will happen. And these chargers, you can get these quite readily in quite high power versions. This one, for example, is uh, up to 20 volts at 5 amps. So this will give 100 watts, which is... Suitable for most laptops, unless we're talking gaming laptops, but then you can get these which are even higher powered than this. And because they're becoming kind of ubiquitous, they're also becoming quite inexpensive just on the reason of mass production. So our little uh, cable, which is just, just a cable, yeah, nothing other than a cable it would appear, plugs into our charger, yeah. And if we get our voltmeter, yeah, on volts, and we have a look at the end of our connector here. What do we have? Well, we have nothing, and that's because I haven't switched it on. So I'll switch the power on. It's Christmas, guys, this happens, yeah. Switch the power on. And now we have 20 volts, yay! So this little lead, as soon as you plug it into the power supply, switch it to the correct voltage for a laptop, and we have 20 volts. So now we can quite happily fit all our little connectors, the ones we want for the various laptops that we're working on repairing. And we have the correct supply voltage. How good is that? Yeah, so uh, just a little cable and that. I mean, cheers, debt. Th these... Um, off AliExpress, he says they're about eight euros. We'll have a look before we end this video to see how much these cost, but they're cheaper than buying a universal laptop charger by quite a large margin. And let's face it, we've probably all got a PD power supply these days that we can appropriate, yeah? So that is good. But it then occurred to me, it actually gets better than that. Because with this, we can use things like this. Or even, if you cheapskates, things like this. So this is a USB analyzer and this is effectively a USB meter. This one uh, gives you the wattage. So this handles up to 60 watt, okay. You can get ones that handle more than that and they display the wattage on here. I have other ones of these whereby they're not built onto the cable, they just have a USB-C socket in one end, a plug in the other end. And some of them will tell you the voltage and current as well. And these things are really, really cheap. I mean, the ones that plug into a cable, not built on, a couple of euros or so. In fact, AliExpress had them on special offer recently, and I bought at least a couple of them for about two euros each. So between one of these, and one of these, you can now 
power up your laptop under test, you can see straight away, is it drawing any current at all? Is it powering up? Is it charging the battery? What wattage is it drawing? Yeah, and all that sort of useful information. So let's try this. Let's give it a go with a laptop and let's see how well this actually works. So here we have a Lenovo laptop. I've attached the correct adapter to the Lenovo. We'll just switch this on. And we can see the display lights up. It's just saying zero or one watt. Perhaps we're drawing nothing at the moment. Let's uh, just check the voltage. I'm sure this will be just fine at 20 volts. Well, yes, we have 19.5 or 19.9. That's great. So let's connect this to our laptop and see what happens. Okay. So it's gone to three watts. They're not very bright, these a bit of glare from the camera doesn't help, but you can see them quite nicely. So we can see this is now drawing three watts of power. Okay, just gonna focus on it if I can. So let's just boot this laptop up and see what we get. So we'll just power it up. Yeah, 10 watts. Laptop is now booting up into wind, as you can see. 11 watts so that's given us a nice indication of what's going on with this laptop down to nine again the screen's blanked out when the screen comes back on yeah back to ten nine eight so definitely definitely giving some useful information for next to nothing yeah we don't need a universal supply really we just need a pd supply which is universal obviously these days okay so that's using the little uh, adapter. We'll look at these on AliExpress in a moment, but let's have another little play with this using my USB analyzer as well. Okay, so here is the USB analyzer, giving a very similar reading, seven or eight watts. It shows us the current as well on this one. So again, very handy. Now, of course, I think the thing a lot of you are asking the question so before you get into the comments below let's try this what if we connect this to a laptop that has a short yeah we can have a laptop with a short circuit so there's effectively a short on the 19 volts input so let's try it and let's see if this system works fine with the short and if it does then i'm quite happy to use this when i'm repairing laptops Okay, so this is quite simple to simulate. So we have a short circuit load here. So if we connect this to our little lead, okay, and we switch the power supply on, I'm expecting it just not to power up. I don't think anything too spectacular will happen, but uh, who knows? Let's see. Well, nothing happened. Okay, so nothing happened. That's what I expected. So we'll take the short back off again. Let's power this up again. Yeah, it's powering up, so it didn't hurt it in any way. It's on 20 volts. Let's now do something really nasty to it. Okay. Are you ready for this, guys? What happens? Well, it goes off. And it stays off. Oh no, it comes back on again. So the power supply just resets itself and comes back on when the short's gone away. So yeah, that works really, really well. I have to say I'm very impressed with that. Let's have a look to see how much these things cost. Debt did tell me, so I'm not being naughty here with a Christmas gift, okay? But let's have a look. So here is the little meter very similar to the one that i was using but this one is 240 watt they on special off at the moment 99 cents so guys grab one of these yeah very useful things there's also these type of did mention which also show you the voltage the current and these are again on special offer at the moment so, i mean three euros 78 uh, a couple of euros of shipping, so that's about six euros. How much shipping was on that first one? Oh, that was free. Okay, but personally, 
for the extra few euros i think i'd actually go for this one but guys it's whatever you like okay then we have the adapter cable so this is the one that thank you debt for christmas is now on my bench okay yeah he said it was about 10 11 euros free shipping so that's that one now this one has a male usb this has the effectively the little um decoy on that causes it to go to 20 volts that's male so you may have trouble attaching this to your little one of these yeah maybe maybe not depending on what you have so if you like there's another version here so this does the same thing it's a lot cheaper yeah with the postage you know it's about the same about 10 euros this has a female connector again with the decoy so it will set it to 20 volts for you so it looks like at the cheapest from this we can do for about 11 euros with this adapter and for about 16 with that one and i think that's excellent value for money and not only that but what a useful tool guys as soon as you get a laptop or anything else that's powered from USB-C on your bench, you plug it in straight away. You will know if there's a short, if the thing's tripping the power supply out, if it's drawing any current, if it's drawing no current at all, very useful information to know, if it's charging the battery and so on. Yeah. So thanks, Debt, for the Christmas gift. Cheers, mate. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll put the links to all these items in the description to this video. If you've got a little bit of Christmas money left over or somebody gave you a bit of Christmas money, what better thing could you buy for yourself than this? Okay, look forward to seeing you all again soon on another Learning Electronics Repair video. Ciao for now, guys.